Hey, today we'll see how we take an image in one style and with a pretty simple workflow, get whatever style we want. And of course, we will do all this in Comfy UI. Let's start with loading checkpoint. I work with Protogen V2.2, a very old model. I still love it. Positive prompt in green, negative prompt in red. Of course, everything is connected to K-Sampler. Now we will load an image, which we want to convert to a new style. I am now writing a basic prompt style high quality shop in the negative watermark and text and connects it to the case sampler and this is our basis now i just want to show you why not work in image to image once you work in image to image your main game is with the d noise and it just doesn't allow enough freedom to get the style while maintaining similarity to the original image let's see for a moment what i mean of course we will put everything together properly first as soon as we press Q, I didn't write style either, but we will get some style. The D noise at the moment is very high, 74. Now I wrote cubism and we will do another Q and we can see something similar to cubism, but very far from our picture. If we take the D noise off, then of course we will get something that is already approaching our image, but moving away from the style. And we'll see how we can overcome that by another workflow in a moment. Let's set the seed, have something more consistent for the rest of the work and change the sampler, but nothing really will give anything close to the result that I want to get in this case. Let's first bypass the VA encode. Let's start with empty latent, which we will connect to K sampler. Now, if we press Q, we will of course get something similar to cubism, but it will not be related to our image because it is currently not connected in any way to the workflow. To connect our image to workflow, we will use control net which allows us to create a foundation based on the image. In this case, I will use the tile model. I connect the positive and the negative to the control net and from control net back to K sampler. Now we have to connect the image together and we'll press Q. Now we can see some kind of combination of cubism with, with our character and it's already starting to be very similar to the result I wanted. Note that I chose to work with the advanced control net node, which allows us to play with the start and end precinct of the control itself when the control net comes into work. With start, the higher the number, the later the control net will go into work and with the end, the lower the number, the sooner the control will stop affecting the model these two sliders allow us to play more with the style or the image. As you can see, I raised it to 50% here, so we only get cubism, which means that the control net hardly succeeds in influencing the model. Here you need to find the exact point for you in terms of image, in terms of the style, but it completely gives you the ability to combine almost any style with the original image. Once you've reached that balance, all you have left now is to simply change the style in the prompt and then you'll see the new style mixed with the character. In this case, I wrote cartoon, let's try futurism. It's an Italian style of painting from about 100 years ago. In this case, you can see that the result is very saturated. Let's try another saturated style. Let's write pop art, which is a very strong art style in terms of its colors. And you see that we get a very strong color. If it's too much saturated, we can use a very interesting set of nodes that come with Comfy and these nodes allow us to process the images. In this case, I use Desaturate, which allows me to reduce the saturation of the image. The higher the desaturate, the closer to black and white we get, the lower the desaturate, the more colorful we get. In short, it helps you control the saturation level of the color in the image. Let's do one more example. Let's write in the prompt bronze sculpture. And now we get something similar to a style of bronze sculpture. This is one of the simplest ways to change an image to different styles in a relatively simple workflow. Of course, playing with the start percent and end percent of the control net allows you to control the nature of the combination. So, hope you learned and that we will meet in the next lessons. You are, of course, welcome to ask questions comment and like, and most importantly, have fun. Bye-bye.